Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating Camping Kit of the Northern Ranger version 2. For those of you who are new to the mod, um, this is a camping mod that um, is kind of unique and cool in that you can set up your camp however you want and position elements around it in different areas um, and then get very specific with the setup which you'll see. The camping kit itself is purchased at the Riverwood Trader, so right next to the starting area kind of after you get through everything. Um, and for those of you who have had the mod who aren't new to it, um, you might have remembered there was a camping shop. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people are setting up mods kind of in that area, um, you know, land masses and just whatever else doing changes to it. So I wanted to reduce the footprint. Hope you can appreciate that. So I've got rid of the, the whole shop altogether. Um, you can now purchase the kit at the Riverwood Trader. So upon clicking the item, it's a miscellaneous item, and once you left click it, it will disappear of your inventory and it'll deploy right here. And you'll see that once you activate it, there are some options here such as raising, lowering, or rotating it. So in this case, you could see I deliberately made it get a little clipped here um, just to kind of underscore how I could rotate it around, I could raise it, lower it, and stuff like that. All right. And once I click set up, you're immediately going to see three basic camping elements appear um, next to each other. Campfire, a bedroll, and the tent. So I'm going to kind of throw these out here and scatter them and set up my elements. Now each marker is a pointer to the actual item. So the tent marker is in fact a tent. I'm going to put it right here and click it and now it's a tent. And when you interact with the item, each item, you're given the option to rotate it, lift it, um, lower it, things like that. And depending on some items you can do more with. So in the case of the tent here, I can rotate it and now it's facing my campfire. Campfire, when I click it, it will then in turn become a campfire. And for the bedroll, um, I could put this here and it'll become a bedroll. Just like everything else, I could raise, lower it, and if it's furniture, you could confirm it. So the idea is just you confirm it and now you can interact with it. So now I click, I can sleep, whereas before I could only rotate it and lower it. So in addition to these three basic elements, um, there's actually some more things you could do. So if you click on the kit and go to extras, You'll now see that I could set up things like a horse post. Um, this is for tethering your horse. I didn't want to add scripts to it. Hope you guys don't mind, just because I don't want to get crazy or anything would crash and stuff like that. But if you, you know, you get two, so if you put one on each side of the horse, it actually does a pretty good job of keeping the horse in its place. You also have an extra bed roll for your follower, um, a leather windscreen, a pelt, which is just a kind of fur carpet thing you could put inside of your um, of your tent, and a cooking pot and a chair. Um, so let me show you the chair here. Just like the bedroll, it's furniture and it's a marker, so I have to click it, then confirm it once I'm comfortable with where it is. Now I deliberately made the chair um, get a little bit more elevated or high, as you can see, just so that when you first set it up, um, there aren't any clipping problems and stuff like that. As you can imagine, something like that's kind of hard to get perfect, um, even for a mod like this. So as you can see, that wasn't very hard. I now have it perfectly how I want. Um, I can even rotate it, and once I'm comfortable with the position, I can click confirm. And it is now a chair, so I can sit in the chair. Okay, in addition to the chair, you have a cooking pot, as I mentioned. Um, and so, similar manner, I can confirm it, and now I can interact with it. Now, I'm not going to show you in this video, but there's also, when you go to the um, when you go to the Riverwood Trader, there's another version called the Imperial Camping Kit, which is essentially the same thing, but a more lightweight version. Um, so this is a pretty big cooking spit, as you can see. In the Imperial version, it's just a smaller version of it, um, a smaller cooking stand, but everything functions the same way. All right. Next, we'll cover the screen. So you go here and click Extra Screen. And that's my leather screen, so you could set up a nice perimeter, although in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up barricades. Um, and then what's great about this too is um, after I've set up the camp, if I want to leave and go hunt, um, if I go to my map, you'll see that it deployed a marker, uh, so I could actually return back to my camp later. This is great if I want to make a little bit more of a permanent camp. And with the Imperial Camping Kit as well, you can set up two camps simultaneously. So I could set up this bigger camp here, then go out and start looking or hunting and then if I want to set up another camp for any reason I could do that I'll have two markers and I could go back to either or. 
when I'm all done, you'll see here, I can now, let me just save my game, I can now click here and hit pack up. When I do, everything disappears, which is great. So there's no messy cleanup required. You hit pack up and you're done. And now I'll reload. So pretty neat, right? Okay, so that's the first video. Um, thanks so much for your support and for tuning in. In the second video, I'm going to be covering some of the more advanced features, such as barricades, entering the tent, um, and, and everything like that. So thanks, guys, and please leave a comment if you have any questions.